Um, <laughs> that's fairly flat from you, mate. <laughs> Good way to finish the year. Um, yeah, no, it's um, very pleasing. Uh, obviously, uh, <clears throat> you know, there was a bit of everything today. We needed a bit of everything. Some of our football was good. Uh, we needed to show some resilience, character, and, again, a massive physical effort. You know, I said during the week that these players are given everything. Uh, the, the ones who are available are, you know, we're not stumbling due to a lack of effort, that's for sure. And, uh, you know, against a <coughs> side that's probably the most informed team in the competition and, uh, you know, <coughs> two days less resting, um, after a really big physical load on on against Brighton, um, you know the, the way these players keep giving maximum effort is a credit to them. Uh, hard to say. I mean, um, yeah, Pape obviously felt his hamstring, and uh, yeah, he's emotional because he, he wants to go away with his national team. It's a big tournament for them, and um, <coughs> you know, it's just. Kind of the way our season's gone, he, he was so good again uh, early in the game, apart from his goal, he was, you know, and, and, then, and then he kind of gets an injury, so <clears throat> disappointing for him, but I'm hoping it's not too serious, he can still go away and contribute to his country, and uh, Alejo is, you know, he's obviously, he was in a lot of pain, and, you know, we'd already done our substitution, so we were kind of <clears throat> trying to get it out to him just to, to, to lay down and we can get him off, but, you know, shows the character of the boy. He just wanted to, he knew he had no more substitutions, he just wanted to keep going, but um, I'm not sure the extent of what he's done. We'll, we'll find out. What happened with you in that moment? Because that's probably the angriest we've ever seen you in No, I was, I was fine. We were just wishing each other a happy new year. and <laughs> That's all right. It was just a little bit of emotion in the game. And um, like I said, I was more concerned about Alejo because we were just trying to get him off the field and he was kind of, apart from me running on the field and physically dragging him off, he wasn't really going to go down, so we were just kind of trying. And I think the Bournemouth staff thought we were trying to, I don't know what they were thought, we thought we were trying to make a substitution, but we knew we had none. It was just about getting him off. Jack? Hi, um, what do you think of Lucelso's contribution today? Is it important to take? Yeah, he was, Gio was great, you know, he's been great the last two, three weeks. Look. <clears throat> With the amount of injuries we've had and absences we've had, we've we've needed just about everyone in the group, and every time we've needed somebody, they've stepped up. And uh, Gio was was very good today. Not just you know with his work rate because he worked hard, but you can see the quality on the ball. I mean, it's, <coughs> you know his pass his passes through, and the, you know the one through to Sunny was outstanding. And uh, you know we needed him today. We're going to need him. You know moving forward because obviously Sonny goes away now, Bis goes away, Pape goes away and, um, you know, um, so I thought he was, uh, he was a good contributor. Will, do you mean Sonny's going right now? No, no, it won't be. No, he's going away. Yeah. Have you spoke about needing everyone when you can use them? Was there any risk involved in starting a Benton court today and how is it going back? Yeah, no, he trained, he trained all week with us and, um, yeah, you know, speaking to him yesterday, he, he felt really good about uh, you know how he was feeling, and um, yeah, you know, we kind of knew there'd be a sort of time limit to how much we could get out of him, and um, it was um, it was great to see him out there again, and he, he <coughs> gives the whole group a lift, not just because he's a fantastic player, but um, you know this group's seen what he's gone through in recent times, and within that context, he's never sort of let it get him down he you know and he's a, he's a warrior he wanted to you know that's the frustrating thing for all the guys who are missing out at the moment they they want to help and um he wanted to help and uh you know he uh i thought it was great today apart from the win that was probably the most pleasing thing that he got through 60 minutes and you know he can you know can help us from here on and you said a lovely moment at half time i know you <coughs> played through uh, 447 appearances but it's been an incredible certain he has yeah i mean he'll um <clears throat> you know, he'll he'll definitely sort of go down as a legend for this club because of like I said, not just his appearances, but you know, when you're captain a club, a big club like this for, for so long and um yeah, I think I said before, I don't think you know, my opinion of him is is paramount here because of my service is, you know, fairly minuscule compared to his, but in the time I've worked with him he's 
He's been absolutely professional, an absolute gentleman. You know, I can see why he was highly re regarded. <coughs> it was great to have in the group. Um, great for, for Vic to share a dressing room with a World Cup winner. Or, and, um, you know, it's a credit to him with the way he's conducted. And, you know, I caught up with him a couple of days ago and wished him all the best. I know he'll love the adventure of the MLS. Um, you know, doing something different in your career just, you know, I think is adds something to it. And, you know, he goes off with our best wishes, but with an undeniable impact on this football club. I saw clearly how the young sub got injured, but I didn't really see how Saar got injured. Did, what happened to him? Exactly? Hamstring. He was running, mate. No, no, it's just a, I mean, you don't know about hamstrings, mate, because we don't run that fast, but that's how you, that's how you, that's how you do them. <laughs>